250 grammes. One of the highlights of our trip and here in Bogor is the open air market in Le Puy en Ville. And right now, peaches are in season, so we're going to make peaches and blueberry crumble. So first I'm going to score the peaches on the bottom, just a little cross on each one. And I'm going to pour hot water, boiled hot water, over top and we're going to remove the skin. It'll be very easy to take off once I get um, all of these scored. And I have a little helper today. Can you say hi? Hello. She's gonna help me cut up the peaches. I'm just gonna cover the peaches for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then we're gonna dump the water out and peel the skin. I don't know if you can see, I'll just turn this around. But you can see the, the skin is already starting to come off. So I just quickly dumped out the water and ran it under cold water just to cool them down so that I can um, touch the peaches. But look, it just comes right off. I'm just gonna get Ella started here. So we're gonna cut it in half, Ella. it the right way that would be good huh oh, they're really slippery so we're gonna have you Ella slice it in half and then maybe three times on each side okay 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 and then this one like that and then you're gonna put them in this bowl all right all right After you've cut up all the peaches, we're going to squeeze um, about half a lemon juice in there. You can also use the zest, but I don't have a zester here, so I'm just going to use the juice. I'm just going to squeeze it over. We're going to add a quarter cup of flour and half a cup of sugar into the peaches. And I was just going to stir that around. And that will help the juices come out of the peaches, but also uh, the flour will help to thicken the juices. Let me help you get started, Ella. Yes, please. Just want to make sure that all the flour is wet from the juices. And we're going to let that sit for about five minutes while we do the rest. Next, we're going to make the crumble. We have one cup of oats and one cup of flour already in the bowl. I'm going to add half a cup of brown sugar. Really hoping that this is brown sugar because feeling the bag, it seemed like brown sugar, but it wasn't, didn't seem so common here at the supermarket, so. And I don't have a proper measuring cup, so I'm going to estimate. Okay, I'm gonna put in what I think is about half a cup of sugar. What do you think? That's a good idea? Yes. All right. All right, I think that's about half a cup. Anyways, it's enough sugar, what do you think? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna get my butter ready to put in there as well. One of the most tasty things that we have found in France is the butter. It's amazing. We've been looking for Bordier butter, which we've heard is um, incredible butter, but we haven't been able to find it. So I have been, but it seems that whatever butter you buy in France apparently is a good option. The one I'm using today has a bit of fleur de sel in there. 
So I'm not going to add any salt into the crumble. We're just gonna cut that up into um, little squares. And of course, I don't have a pastry cutter here, so I'm just gonna use two knives. This is a technique that I learned in cooking in high school, that if you don't have a pastry blender, you can always use two knives. Okay, let's hope this works. Just gonna stir this up a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna use the knives to cut into the butter. And we want um, pea-sized bits of butter incorporated in all of the crumble. So I think I did an okay job. There might be some bits in here that are still a little bit big, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through there. Make sure that uh, the bits of butter is all incorporated into the flour and oats sugar mixture. Okay, Ella, can you help me stir that with the blueberries? We're gonna add the blueberries and you're gonna help me stir. Or do you wanna add the blueberries and I stir? I'll add the blueberries, okay. you can stir. All right. All right. There you go. Okay, is that all of them? Yep. Gently. Mix that together. Okay. I'm gonna pour it into our dish. Oh, so good. The crumble goes right on top. We're gonna put that on a sheet of parchment paper on a baking sheet and we're going to bake that in a preheated oven at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes. Alright, another simple and easy recipe. This is peach and blueberry crumble. I whipped up some creme fraiche with vanilla bean and some sugar earlier and we're going to um, take this down to dinner with one of our neighbors in Bogor. It has been so nice to get to know the people here and everyone is so pleasant and so friendly and so incredibly hospitable. Um, we're enjoying our time here and uh, we're looking forward to having dinner with them. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching. How'd it turn out? Oh, I hope it's okay.